Today, friends and family are really looking for answers in the death of an 18-year-old who fell off a boat in the Cooper River. Elijah Weatherspoon's body was found Sunday morning near Sullivan's Island. Now in a story you'll see only on two, Danielle Hensley has spoken to the woman who found the body. And she joins us live from Sullivan's Island tonight. Good evening, Danielle. Good evening, Brendan. It was about 930 in the morning on Sunday. Nicole Morsilli, her husband and two friends were docked at the Beach Inlet Sandbar for their Sunday fun day. But Morsilli told me she never could have expected or prepared for what her day turned into. I just hear her yelling like, no, 911, dial 911, body. There's a, there's a body. Nicole Morsilli wanted to believe she was joking or that there had been some mistake. So our intent was to like help, um, but we got there and it was very clear that the person was deceased. Morsilli says it took about 20 minutes for the Sullivan's Island Fire and Rescue to reach her and her friends on the sandbar. And so as the tide was rising, his body was starting to like be taken away. Um, so we were trying to convey the sensitivity of time to get his body, you know, recovered. Morsilli says she can still remember exactly what he was wearing. I'm doing better than the family that doesn't have a son now, you know. Um. Weatherspoon's death is still under investigation by the DNR. This is what our investigators do. They they investigate uh, on the water, and it's a it's a little different world. We run everything to ground. We we run down every lead. We find out what's going on, and if there's anything to be found, we'll find it. The family has filed a petition for a closer look into the case. As of now, DNR says they are waiting for the results of the autopsy to further the investigation. Reporting live in Sullivan's Island, Danielle Hinsley, Count on Two.